cuvette is now in the fume hood and you can see a few things. First of all, this is in pretty good shape uh, in the sense that there haven't been a lot of spills. There's just a little bit of DBE here on the top maybe. And this is the only uh, big sort of smear that we have. The other thing is the level of DBE in the cuvette. So we never want it to be above this line or really right at that line because that's where the lid comes on. So if you have it that high, what's going to happen is the DBE is gonna wick up and then out and that's just gonna make a mess. So we, but we don't want it too low because if you have it too low, um, what occurs is that sometimes the, the objective can't come into contact with the DBE uh, when you're imaging the sample. And, uh, and as a result, you, you get terrible images or in, in the more common case, which is sort of marginal, um, you get a situation where the, the objective is barely in contact with the DBE and so you get this weird wavy phenomenon because uh, as you move the sample, the DBE moves around and that causes this sort of waviness in the image. Um, so we need to, uh, when we replace it, fill it up to here. So if someone complains that something like this is going on, just fill this a little bit and then from here, pour into the cuvette. Um, Another thing is this cuvette, I've managed to damage it in this corner. I bumped it into one of the big DBE bottles at some point. Um, this corner, the damaged corner, unfortunately, should always be pointing to the top right. Um, you can see that the cuvette has a frosted side and a clear side. So there are two clear sides that go like this. And there are two frosted sides that go like this. So obviously the light sheet goes from clear side to clear side. Uh, the reason uh, I, I say that you should always put this to the top right uh, when you put it in the in the system is uh, There's some sort of slight uh, errors in how Parallel these two are I mean you, you don't see them as parallel just because of the uh, uh, The effect of the camera, but they are very parallel, but they're not perfect and they're not perfectly angled at a 90 degree from the bottom at 90 degrees from the bottom um, So when you do the alignment those things matter so you should always have put them in the same put them the same way in the system so that when you're doing the alignment you're doing it with the same conditions as opposed to flipping it over and then realizing that you have to change everything okay um, so that's just one thing as far as positioning uh, let me show you how to empty this um, and then uh, we'll move forward with a few other things so to empty this what i do is i make a little bit of room here uh, we always do this in the hood. We have our waste bottle properly tagged. Um, this is a new bottle. This one's an empty that I haven't started filling with waste yet. I open this up. Put the funnel there. And then this is kind of an uncomfortable maneuver, but um, you can manage. Uh, and then you just pour this out. Okay, so then I put the lid back on. So then we have to clean the funnel and clean this, and so that's all with ethanol. So I typically spray the funnel with a little bit of ethanol. Use Kim wipes to wipe it down. Put this back here. And then I try and clean the, the cuvette inside as much as possible, uh, just because sometimes debris comes off the samples, uh, and so we wanna get all that gunk out of here. Uh, it's usually not that hard to get out. It's, it's not sticky, it's, it's just like little particles of, of sort of garbage that falls off people's samples. Uh, and then we want, it, we want to make sure that this is uh, nice and dry, doesn't have any traces of ethanol left. That's the inside of the cuvette. Uh, then for the outside, we're going to do something similar, and we're going to pay particular attention to the corner through which I poured it to make sure that um, there's no uh, DBE left there. So again, I always grab Kim wipes, a little spray of ethanol 100%, and make sure that we remove any DBE spills uh, that, that was spilled uh, on the sides of this thing. You can also check the bottom should be clean it is uh, and then once we're at this point I, I like to give it another sort of squeaky clean uh, 
on the sides that where the light is going to go through, so the clear sides, not the frosted sides. And if there's any sort of traces of things, either DBE or ethanol left, just wipe them out. Okay, so that's done. So now we need to put this on. It's about 120 uh, mils of DBE. I pour it straight from the bottle. I think it would actually be wiser to have a beaker that holds 150, pour from the bottle to the beaker and then the beaker to here. Uh, we don't have a beaker like this in this hood, so I'm just gonna do it straight from the bottle. When the bottle is very full, it can get a little tricky, uh, which is why I think a glass beaker that's 150 would probably be, or even 250, and then you pour from here to the beaker and then from the beaker here would probably be the better option. But this is what I have right now, so this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm trying to get right below that notch that I showed you before. And there we go. That's pretty darn good. Put this away. So let me show you what that looks like. You can see the DBE level is right below there. It's perfect. All right, so now I'm going to take that and put it back in the system. When we do that, um, given that the alignment is going to come next, there's sometimes a temptation to get ahead of ourselves and maybe open these for the alignment steps. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it um, because when we move the cuvette from the hood to the system, uh, the chances of dropping it are very low. But if we do, and this uh, the, the optical table is, is so the, the optics of the system are exposed, we might spill it on the system. Uh, spill the DBE on all the optics, so that, that would be kind of catastrophic. Um, so I would rather put it back with these on. We can always open those up later. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up here. You can see what it looks like. Um, here's better. Okay. Put on my other glove. Okay, again, we wanna be very careful. Move any chairs out of the way. We wanna bump into them. And we don't just drop it in, we uh, catch it um, by raising the pedestal underneath. So I'm putting my, my hand under here, raising the pedestal. Not so much that it falls out of its hole, but enough that I can only gently lower it. And here I'm already just holding it completely with my left hand. Um, so that's you know nice and safe. I don't have to try and get it in much, much further. So I'm gonna lower this very gently. Perfect. Um, the rest was clean, um, so we really don't need to do anything, luckily. Let's put this back on, and uh, now I'll show you how to set up the alignment tool.